Yes, hello. Thank you, thank you. I'm coming through rather... Rather quiet? Hmm. Let me let me try something. Test, test. Am I still quiet? I'll turn me up a bit. I'll turn me up. How is this? It's fine. Okay, I'm testing. You heard that. Okay. And, you know, this one, more about the music. <clears throat> definitely want the, um, definitely want the, the tunes. All right. You don't have any Tetris music to judge by yet. Yeah, and it can get pretty loud. Is this any, is this any better? Let's start. Let's start here. Obviously, I'll be talking a little bit less uh, for this one. That's why it's a chill stream. Couldn't get a Tetris there. Oh, the Tetris music is really quiet. This part is quiet, but um, I can fix that. Let's... All right, turn it up. How's the balance? Ah, shit. I really... I keep on getting distracted by that. I need to... Okay, here's what we'll do. the music to be loud for you but if I do talk
<laughs> oh my god. That's what happens. <laughs> you make one mistake and... That's okay. You can get back from anything. You can get back from anything. You gotta clear some lines. You got some beer, Tom? I'm Alfie too, or just... You want a tea kettle, but it's for making ramen. Or making ramen. Casey on tilt. Yeah, I was doing alright there for a second, so I fucked everything up. But that's okay, again. That's what Tetris is about. You come back from anything, you just gotta focus. And... Bye, some imposter. See ya. Thanks for uh, coming to the stream. If I miss a good goodbye for anybody, I'm so sorry. fuck up once and then you fuck up a whole bunch more and it sucks but you come back it's just not pretty also I'm so rusty in this game people watched the last time I streamed it I had to keep like warning people I hadn't played it in like months How's the music for you guys? Is it good? Do you want me to turn it up a little bit more? Good? Okay. Because it's definitely more of like a... We're, we're going to have fun streams, and then we're going to have chill streams, you know? something pleasant on in the background and that's Tetris spec streams that's what those are going to be oh it's it's uh, Tetris yeah the music is like built in with everything you do contributes to the music it's all original too real big fan of this um, guy who conceptualized this. He didn't direct the game directly, but he produced it in huge part. His name is Mizuguchi. Um, and um, 
I tweeted the first time I streamed it. I was like, uh, last minute stream, come watch me play Tetris Effect, a game that makes me cry every single time I play it. <laughs> and he liked that tweet, and it was very valid. <laughs> I, am, I am in a real rough position. I got myself in a bind. Mermaid level in honor of Atlantic. <laughs> um, no son of a hurricane. They're still in front of you, but like the particles from everything are are all around you. It's um, it's really a transcendent, beautiful experience in VR. It is uh, VR. That's how I mostly play it. But it the the way VR works on um. Uh, the way streaming works uh, uh, from VR on PlayStation is really rough. And so I decided I'm only going to do that when it's something that can only be played in VR. And while I, I touch respect is like practically a VR game for me, uh, I want it to be enjoyable for you guys uh, to watch as well and listen to. Truly. <laughs> that is way cooler than the original touches, for sure. That's a good thing, <laughs> dead folk. Oh, it's too hot. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you're like from the music. You're like, oh, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm melting and... Uh, <laughs> summer and you live real close to the equator yeah that's that i buy that well hopefully these cool tunes can help chill you out
Y'all, sometimes the piece goes to the wrong place. But ain't that life? <laughs> sometimes so many pieces go to the wrong place, you don't even know what to do because you really just <laughs> whiff it there at the end. Steely Tom, I wasn't when I started, but I love this game so, so much. I love this game so, so much that, like, I was I was failing over and over again, and I was like, no, dude, I gotta, I gotta get better. This is my absolute, absolute favorite. The song's like, this is the final song, it's like six minutes long, and at the end of it, the credits play, and the credits make me cry every single time. I don't know about in 2D, though. I did last time I streamed this, though. I was weeping by the end of the credits. I love this level so much. Actually, the, the first time I got to like one point in the level, it uh, brings in these like themes and motifs that you realize have been playing throughout the entire game. And like, it just, it just makes sense at that point. And we're like, I got there and I, I lost right at that m moment. But I like, it was just, I like started crying and like laughing. It was so, I was so blown away at like almost the aud audacity of this game to do that and then pull it off. Um, and so even though I wasn't good enough to do it, but I just, I was like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I gotta beat this. And so I just play it over and over again. And you have to really, like, really, really want to beat something to, like, try and fail that many times. And then it became my warm-up song. I got so good that, like, I would open with it. Not anymore. Usually you don't start this with the trimmings of another run behind you. You usually start it fresh, and I just decided to keep going. Yeah, we're just going to go up, and we're going to restart from the bottom. This song gets really good. Bear with me here as I play this much better than I did last time.
shit. Sometimes you fuck up. Oh, sometimes you just fuck up. And you're like, oh god, what do I do? place for the end of this. You don't think you understand how to play Tetris? Uh, that's fair. Um, every block is four squares. Every variation. Uh, uh, they're Tetraminos. And um, you just got to get them all the way across the line. Rotate them, fit them into place. You can see one move ahead. You can see what's next. And then you can put something in hold. You can s swap it out and like bring it out when you want it. But you can only swap once per piece uh, and then in this game you can like freeze time for a little bit to like try to like clear lines and like get your points up or catch up and uh, I'm gonna focus on I'm gonna beat this there we go it's part of my problem I'm used to the full screen What's that? Um, you can get a 16 line clear with uh, times top. Uh, you can, in, in uh, Tetris Effect, uh, yeah, some versions of Tetris you can't hold a piece, but they, they added that, uh, and ever since that has been a mechanic. Uh, but in this Tetris, when you like do the time freeze, you can clear the entire board. It's called like a um, Ultimus or... or uh, Perfectress or something. thing about Tetris is there's like the Tetris committee and you always have to have their approval uh, and like oversight as you develop a Tetris game 
and um, they set the rules. The rules to Tetris change like over time, like the additions they make. Um, and each game can have unique mechanics, but like there are certain things you cannot do. Like the Tetris effect is like no, or Tetris uh, committee is like no. This is how Tetris works. Like um, that's pretty crazy, but. I guess with a a mechanics-based franchise this large, you know, you, pr you protect it like Disney protects an IP. <laughs> that deck of heaters. Uh, I've gotten that before. It's not frequent, especially n not in 2D and not maybe while I'm also modern chat a little bit, but you know what? We're going to try for it. I'm doing way better than last time. Council, Council of Tetris, yes. What do you think their fucking meetings are like? <laughs> so, uh, Tetris, we're, we're still good with blocks? You still doing the block thing? I was thinking of trying spheres. Fuck off! Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out! Yes, they do, actually. They're notorious for that. Killing, <laughs> killing cheaters. All Tetris games say an official Tetris product. Which is like a carryover from when copyright rules were looser with video games. Um, or just more ignored. And uh, people would always just like make their own version of Tetris and call it Tetris. And Tetris is like, fucking stop. <laughs> so now it's like, everything's like, this is an official, this is, this is Tetris. Oh no, I 
pressed down by accident. Don't panic, don't panic. Oh no, but it dropped that fucking piece. Bullshit. The NFL copyrighted the phrase Super Bowl? Oh, House of Darkly, you bet they have to move all the furniture around before they start. <laughs> yeah, they, they just can't be satisfied. <laughs> we can watch the credits here. Um, but I doubt I'll cry. Because that's not what happens in VR. This part of the credits, I don't love. It's really beautiful, but it just has this like deconstructed drum and bass thing, which is really unlike the rest of the game, even the kind of like more beat bass thing. The NFL can use the phrase in advertising. Everyone has to say the, the game or the big game. That's why they say that? just like a I mean like I know that's a, just like a term I but I thought that was kind of like a more aesthetic choice but they have to say they can't say it without pain not so. not allowed to say Tetris without pain but we break rules here all right here it's getting good again me too captain 80. I would watch it over and over again.
Yeah, so that's such a fight. <laughs> yeah, I was wrong. I did cry. <laughs> Yeah, every time. Like that whole the the whole game's about like the cycle of life. And like in the end, that like reuses uh stuff from the beginning of the game, like the very first level which we can play. Uh like sets up this thing and you think she's just like singing, you know, it's just like, "Oh, this is just like" and then at the end it's like revealed that she's like talking about her child. And that it's like the whole game is just about like the passage of all life through time and how everything right now is the manifestation of the entire track of like living things and um and like yeah i don't know it like gets me <laughs> it gets me every time like i think like truly um i watching the credits for Tetris Effect after beating that level every time I do that like for a minute I'm like oh wow like my depression is gone for a little bit like I like really I appreciate life and just filled with love and like awe at humanity it's it's incredible if you ever get the chance to play this in VR I mean like I feel like you have to play the whole thing to like for that really to like emotionally resonate as much but it's every single level is just uh, stunning in VR. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like really funny. Like I've cried more at a Tetris game than I <laughs> than I did at like The Last of Us, and I cried a lot at The Last of Us. Don't get me wrong. really majestic like um unexpected way of delivering a story not even a story but just like a thesis just a a philosophy like a perspective really it, truly incredible for that like my game of the year uh 2018 you want to watch your friend play The Last of Us? And by your friend, do you mean me? Because I've played Last of Us many, many times. I would, don't give me an excuse to play through it again, because I will. You guys hear, like... This is, like, this is the first level, and it has, like... The same music as that last section, but a different arrangement, and without all the lyrics that reveal, like... And music now is like making you cry. Yeah, I would like, like really listen to the. I mean, like at first you kind of just like, oh, this all adheres to kind of like a mood. It has like a positive outlook. Um, but like really like, not everything is overt, and you know some stuff is more just like aesthetic. But like, all, like all the lyrics in the game, and a, a lot of the like the visuals and the situations are just about like the different like like aspects of humanity and in like different like cultures and realizations of the of the same natural impulse that you know commands humanity and like the love 
that. That was born from that. And I don't think I'm looking too much into that. I think that's 150. That's exactly what it is trying to say. Um, and I mean like if nothing else it's just like a really it's beautiful and it's nice to listen to I think I'm gonna have more for real like more cool down is what, I, what I've been calling them uh, Tetris streets so don't feel like you're missing out on on like content like if you miss like a fall of the kingdom you're like oh man I gotta catch up but it's just like if you ever just wanna like some music, watch something, have it on the background. I'm going to be there for it. Some parts of this game would really... Uh, I want to read that, sorry. Some parts of this game would be really, really hard to play. Like this fucking triangle flying in my face would be distracting. Uh, a couple things about that. Uh, I, If you ever do play this, uh, A, like, you can like play in easier difficulties. Um, but also, you can turn down the effects and you can turn off the like pulsing like, all of those are meant to, like, they all sync up with the music and with the, like, movement that you're doing with your blocks and your fingers and your body. So it's, like, meant to, like, create synesthesia, but you can turn down or off, like, most of those so that it's not distracting. Um, so, so if you ever do play it, know that you can make it a little more manageable. Uh, favorite Western anime? Yeah, I, is that is that hard watching here? I'm sorry if that if you need me to turn that down, just let me know. Or if it's like removed enough from in the stream form, it's fine. But I I can absolutely adjust that. Okay. Favorite Western anime? It's like Western anime is hard to say. I mean, there's definitely stuff that like. Okay. <laughs> King of the Hill is a Western anime. I thought the first season of Castlevania, while short, was really good. Um, I mean, do you mean... You don't just mean Western, like, TV animation, do you? Or was that just, like, a joke way of putting it? Like, anime? Or do you mean really, like, the kind of stuff that tried... Like, last... Oops, that was an accident, but we'll make the best of it. Texas anime. <laughs> yeah. There's something to that. Oh, I did see... I have seen and watched multiple times that... Uh, uh, where you say Run is playing as they go down the, like, the hill. Absolutely. That's, that's fucking great. I think that's so funny. I think, um... Truly, any... Uh, <laughs> guys, this one takes a while to pick up. It's more just about the the mood for a little bit until the music comes in um but i think it's really fun w whenever something that isn't anime is edited with the techniques of anime and uh <laughs> and like the music and stuff i fall for that every fucking time it really 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 gets me so if you guys ever find any anything that does that well go ahead and feel free to tr tweet it to me it will entertain me i promise playing a high difficulty because I'm back at the earlier levels and I know I'm not doing super good but I'm also like able to hold a conversation with you guys <laughs> or maybe that's good you know I, I don't need to be super challenged Neo Scum Recut is a psychological thriller <laughs> Mike and I like we always talked about like how cool it would be to have like a real like anime moment <laughs> and like Neo Scum. Uh, I, I, I truly, I think about that sometimes. 
Uh, we had that like one moment where we do the uh, Xanadu smash and we play You Say Run for like a little bit and and yell that together, which was very exciting. But it would be like my dream is like if we ever got big enough to like hire an animator to do like a faithful anime opening. <laughs> You know, like, it would be a whole big thing. <laughs> that would tickle me so much. Mm. I'm not looking ahead at my pieces, and I'm getting surprised. Uh, Tass has a really good animatic for balance. Um... Oh yeah, um, I bet. I I think I may have seen that. I know that like I don't listen to Critical Role, but I know I've seen that stuff floating around. That looks really cool. But when I say, I mean like I mean like not just an animation. I mean like straight up with like a. Uh, oh Rourke, no, that's okay. Rourke, um. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. We would, we would love that. We'd have like even something like Harmon Quest. Um, uh, I think if um, if it weren't if it weren't live, I love I love the Neoscom live show and it's so fun and um, I want to do more live shows and everything like that and the energy's great, but like. The typical feeling of Neoscum is not live, and like that is like a big part of it. And like, uh, so if we were to do a Harmon Quest kind of thing, it wouldn't be cut from like, I mean, that's just how Harmon Quest is done. But like, I think if we had like, you know, us like around the table, but it would be like cut faster and. And would only, you know, cut to us like at like in and out as we go in and out of stuff like we do and and during huge like laugh moments and stuff like that. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, I know you like animating the original uh, recordings. Oh, um Oh the original? Wasn't Harmon Quest like But those were actually like it mixed in the the filmed because they were all done live. Right, it mixed in like the films stuff. I can't think I'm saying filmed stuff, I mean like the filmed uh, sessions. I think you'd lose so much without the digressions and cuts to the table versus in game without gaining making sound effects easy. Oh, all of that would all of that would be in there. If we ever did something like that, it would one hundred percent be there. When I say like edit, I mean like edit like our show, which values the fuck out of that stuff. But you'd, yeah, you'd need to be able to cut back and, like our show does, like, very dynamically, you'd need to be able to cut back and forth between, like, serious stuff and, and action and those kind of, like, meta moments very fast. I'm, don't get me wrong, we would absolutely love it. I'd love to think more about it and figure it out. You think that'd be really interesting animation, honestly? The meta layer? Absolutely. Dynamically editing the scenes, you add details or reverse things. Or yeah, like, totally. Uh, H. Leviathan. J. Juicy, I have played uh, Tetris 99. Um, I was playing it yesterday uh, after Mike and Lenny's stream. I was like, hey, do you guys want to check this out? And they checked it out. And it's like, that game is impossible to parse. There's no tutorial. There's so much shit going on. Um, and uh, Eleni was like looking up rules and we were like all discussing like theories and stuff. And even the stuff online was kind of unclear. But we, um, we started to make progress and figure things out. And I was playing like good Tetris. But that's the thing is like with that game, it's like you can be playing great Tetris. And then all of a sudden... Like, imagine if right now, suddenly 20 lines are added. Just, like, out of nowhere. And you have no idea. Like, it's almost like, 
until we started figuring out. You have no idea why. You have no idea what to do about it. And, I mean, there will be times where, like, I would be right here, and then I would just lose the game. Um, and so, I, I think Tetris 99 and Tetris Effect could not be... it. They could not be any further from each other, which is really interesting to me. Um, because it, it shows the malleability of, of Tetris as, like, just this pure mechanic-based experience that, like, you can have something like Tetris Effect, which makes Casey, like, cry on stream, uh, and then you can have a Battle Royale, which is just, like, I mean, it's really ugly and really, like, um, it, 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 but this is all to say, did I enjoy it? Yeah. It's incredibly stressful, but, like, I enjoyed it, and I, I'm definitely playing more, um, but, I'm glad I have Tetris Effect as well, because when I, when I play it, you need to, like, cool down. And so it's like, okay, <laughs> I still want to play Tetris, but I don't want to play any more of that. <laughs> so it's time to go to Tetris Effect. I play first the, like, most stressful, just, like, a, a, oppressive, assaulting, like, ugly experience that's, like, really thrilling in some ways, and... And then I go to, like, just the one that, even if it's challenging, is just, like, really beautiful. Oh, hold on. My screen's doing that thing. This Tetris is so pretty, uh, Rourke. Yeah, and, and the, the the music and um, Rourke, I was just talking about how the when I stream Tetris Effect, which I think is going to be more off, I might have more pop-up streams. So imagine I'm editing. I'm in the middle of a 30-hour edit over a couple days. I'm real, I'm just, like, fried... I'll be like, I just need to play Tetris Effect. And maybe I could just play it, or maybe I'll just, like, pop on the stream. And if you see the notification, you're free. It's going to be a chill stream, you know. Uh, my monitoring of the chat may not be as good, uh, and we won't be, like, maybe joking around as, as much, but it can be, like, something that you come to um, while you do something else to enjoy. That's that's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking, and I kind of want to set that, that uh, precedent so that if that's not somebody's thing, they don't have to feel bad. I certainly don't want anybody feeling like, oh man, I have to watch Tetris, <laughs> you know, like, hey, uh, but like, no, it's like, if it's not your thing, totally fine. We'll still have Fall of the Kingdom very frequently. Uh, but, but this is something that I wouldn't be playing anyway. And I figure if anybody else wants to see that, they can. But we will be here out here crying. Yeah, I love that. I I I hope you are. I yeah, Steely Tom, we're gonna get you there. We're gonna get you there while watching Tetris Effect. Inside Out and you're bawling like a baby. The movie uh, Inside Out? Yeah, absolutely. I saw Inside Out um, literally a couple days maybe even less. Maybe it was literally just like I think it was, it was a couple days after moving to Chicago and um, like I've always lived always lived in Toledo or in that area and um, and you know I love my family I have a loving family I'm very grateful for that and uh, and like watching that movie so I, I saw like a matinee because I was in the, uh, in this neighborhood uh, because I had um, I think before I had actually visited the place with and met Mike and Gannon I think I um 
sorry, I'm having trouble thinking while I, uh, before I did that, like, I just wanted to, like, walk around the neighborhood and check it out, and, um, so when I, uh, and I did, I, I, you know, went by the, the Davis Theater, which is, uh, you know, fairly close nearby, and, uh, Inside Out was playing, and I wanted to see Inside Out, so I was like, oh, look at this cool little cheap movie theater, I've got the whole day, you know, and, I was like, all right, like, I'll check it out. And I go and I see Inside Out. And Inside Out, I mean, apart, apart from just being beautiful, is like, you know, obviously, like, you've seen it, a lot of the themes are about, like, moving away and leaving things you love behind and how, <laughs> oh, boy, I'm getting emotional again, about how, like, uh, the, the happy memories and the ha things that made you happy can eventually make you sad in their absence. Uh, in the memory of them. And it was like, there was this moment where I was just like feeling so overcome with emotion, like at a point. And I just was like right about to like fall in the moment I do the whole theater, which by the way, I went to a matinee of a Pixar movie. <laughs> So the whole theater, like, just all these little kids <laughs> erupt and all start crying at the same time. And, like, I'm certainly not. Like, there's nothing wrong with crying at all. Like, uh, I think it's very healthy. But uh, <laughs> it was, like, it was very funny. It, it almost felt like um, a kind of like a cosmic humor thing where like right as I'm about to cry I'm having this very personal moment in a the movie theater suddenly a bunch of children are crying <laughs> it was funny it was, anyway that's my uh, I'm gonna pause real quick so I can okay I'll catch up on the chat after this if I'm missing something good I'm sorry this level's kind of oh, it's kind of stressful once I beat this up I'll pause and I'll check on the chat saw wolf children oh at a uh, film festival oh god yeah that would be rough <laughs> that, would def that would definitely be rough okay i'm gonna pause i want to catch up i feel like there's really good discussion happening in the chat right now oh i beat that area perfect timing Give me a moment, guys. I, I just... Oops. I want to hear what you have to say. Oh, my God. Because I didn't have it open. Oh. I missed all the things. I'll come back to it. I promise I'll come back to it. I, I should have grabbed my laptop during tea time. Um, yeah, Ghostmore. Yeah, I feel like the older I get, <laughs> the, the easier I am uh, to tears. Uh, which is very interesting. Um, not very interesting. It's like you just have more context for everything, I think. And you're probably more comfortable with the ability to cry. And again, this game does, again, like as it, they got like actual like, like musicians from all over the world and everything. Uh, 
and and all the stuff for this game and and like the, with like all the themes about it just being like the like that like vast world experience like through time and and everything is just it it really is exactly the kind of thing that like you need as an antidote when you're just hearing about Trump and you're you're dealing with so much hate and like more fucking shootings and stuff like that and and you're in the absolute pit about your you know your views on humanity and then and then like this like a simple game like this is like oh wait like there's there's more to it there's more to it and it's it's hard to remember that sometimes there's more to it there's always been more to it Jay Juicy, I think that's a great point. I feel like I've been, like, on the edge of being very weepy a lot <laughs> lately, which is definitely about things that, like, aren't reasonable, which definitely feels it's like, oh, yeah, there's, like, other stuff. Like, you need that catharsis, you know? You need to actually cry about the things that make you want to cry, or else you just, like, everything starts to. Just that... Yeah, past three years. I know, man. That just, it feels like it feels like a million years and a day and a half all at once, guys. But when we're in here playing Tetris Effect, we can look at the moon rover over there. Think about the things humanity can achieve and how much bigger everything is than us and we can we can admire that beauty just a little bit the red strings club all right i'll check that out um will you tweet that at me uh like dm me or something or just tweet at me in general i'll check it out later Oh, after you started tea. Yeah. God, man, the easy... Okay. I gotta pause and read this because as you can see on the screen here, it, like, cuts stuff off. I hate it. I just wanna... Sure, Ghostmore, I can only imagine... Sending love to everyone in this chat. Totally, guys. I'm glad we can talk about that in here. Just the, <laughs> the you know, the 15 of us just getting real.
has, I see, I'm not catching all the details, but I see really good things happen in the chat. Makes me very happy and feel all sorts of warmth for you guys. Thank you. trouble here, sorry. Oh man, there's some hack shit going on over there. Yeah, much love to everybody in this chat. Yeah, Jay Juicy, that's like the that's like the whole whole cool thing. This chat rules. This chat does rule. Thanks, guys, for sticking around. <laughs> After Fall of the Kingdom, as I play much longer than expected, just because I have a great time with Yen. I have a great time with, um. And with this? Uh, Tetris more on the Vulcan wall. <laughs> Appreciate that. Satisfaction of Tetris without the stress of being bad. 
Dude, uh, happy to... Happy to... I mean, the space wouldn't be this without you guys, so thank you for for joining. And happy to foster any sort of comfort you have here. However I can, you know. Let's keep going just a little bit longer here. What do you say? for all yes I was really thinking of um streaming uh, some Tetris effect is like up like I was saying like as a pop-up Monday but I wasn't sure you know I want to make sure Skyjax was going well but I know I need to take a break from Skyjax at some point and I feel like the reception to Tetris effect is good enough that I I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it and say I will uh, definitely do an afternoon um, stream of um, a Tetris effect on Monday. If you're working, I totally understand. I'm sure it'll be a small group. Um, afternoon Central Time. So for some people, that might be really convenient. Uh, but uh, always remember that even if you can't participate, <laughs> if you want something on uh, in the background later, they will have the, the archives up. Take a break from cleaning and gives you an excuse to... Yeah, there you go. Exactly as he wishes. Yes. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, don't do what I did. And Okay, I got lucky. <laughs> don't don't ever just make like a giant solid block uh, unless you like are really really planning. Because if I didn't have a line piece, it would have started to get messy. I mean, you want to you do want to get a block. I mean, like ideally, but you want to still have like you want to still have divots in that block all the way up. I'm gonna give you some Tetris tips every once in a while. Uh, you do want. A wall with a single line if you're trying to like do well and get points and everything but you want to to have uh, places for the parts to to fit so you don't start creating gaps that you can't salvage I really like waiting for the line pieces yeah before like you start uh, you start just trying to survive like early on there's like a point where I was like, no man, it's it's about surviving. Like, no time to like play Tetris uh, um, for points or anything. But as you get better, it gets easier to do that, and that is the like, you know, that's the really the the cleanest way to do it. That was a mistake, but this isn't. So we're all right. 
Hey, look at that. We almost got it. It'd be very cool if I got a full clear here. I don't think it's possible. I mean, it's possible, but I'm... Not that good. Two line pieces. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this forest is beautiful. I um, I really wanted to give my mom like a special experience in VR, and I knew she couldn't like play it obviously my dad does play games but my my mom doesn't and um i, I was like she's gotta see tetris back so it was really difficult <laughs> but um i um i put her in the headset and i um i knew that she would just stare forward and i was like okay like just generally stare forward but she would do that anyway because like she doesn't have the impulse to like look all around oh i just fucked that up uh, and, um, uh, I just had her steer forward, and I, and I played it from the screen, because, like, uh, this was an in VR, though, so, like, the screen image is, like, slightly delayed, not like the Twitch chat, but there's, like, there's lag introduced, and, um, so it was really, really difficult, but I was, like, she was looking forward, and I was playing Tetris Effect so that she could see all the beautiful stuff, and, uh, it's very nice. I mean, you know, you want you want people to be able to experience that, especially somebody like my mom who doesn't really understand what can be really like beautiful and powerful about video games, which is an understandable thing to not understand if you haven't experienced those powerful things. And um, so it's like I, I like I really want her to, yeah. Uh, she once said, she once asked me, she's like, is there anything in VR that looks, that looks like a Thomas Kincaid painting? Because my whole life I've always wanted to go, <laughs> I've always wanted to go inside a Thomas Kincaid painting. I think it was Thomas Kincaid. I, uh, don't quote me on that, but, uh, and I was like, oh man, like, um, not really right now. There are some beautiful things, but not like that, but... There's this game coming out, and this was a long time ago, uh, called Dreams, which is like a very beautiful, it's going to be a very beautiful game, and um, and it has like a very painterly style, and when that game comes out, we'll, we'll, get, you, we'll get you in there, and, and you'll have that. Uh, uh, wait, what's that? Uh. Oh, Thomas, Thomas Kincaid painting. Should I get, should I get louder? Um, yeah, I, uh, I de definitely, Son of a Hurricane. And, um, uh, and, like, the thing is, it's, it, it really, it just kept getting pushed back, and they're like, when's it coming out? They're like, look, like, there's no, this isn't the thing, it's not gonna be canceled or anything, but, like, it's, it, we really wanna make it good. And, um, but for a long time, it kept getting pushed back. And, um, uh, but just recently, like a, it, it had like a beta. And Grim, fan of the show Grim, who's, whose art is always a pleasure, um, uh, was in that beta. And, uh, and I, I was, you know, reading and watching a shit ton of stuff from that beta. And it, it really just is so beautiful. And I'm just like, I'm just so excited for when that can come out and like you can it's all about like building your own levels it's basically like it democratizes game design because it makes game design a physical thing that anybody can do in the way that like lots of other art forms have been democratized it's filmmaking uh making music you can do all of it with very low accessibility you just need you need the drive and, and you need the the, the skill uh, you know, acquired over like time and practice, but um, and um, but you don't need a, a ton of huge tools for a lot of that stuff. Uh, but video games have not been that way. Even like with the game making things, it's like they they come in often, and you can only you can only create limited things. But dreams is like 
something totally different. And um, so it's like, man, if there's not something that like fits what my mom wants to see in VR, like I'll make it. And um, yesterday, Chris and I watched, and Mike saw some of it too, um, a um, video where oh, shit, somebody in 30 minutes makes a, uh, a forest, like a full... They, um, uh, you know, they build every tree in the grass and stuff like that and just in 30 minutes and it's, and they like handle the light and so, and it's clear they're really good. Don't get me wrong. They're, they're really good and they, they get it and they have great like artistic taste and, and uh, skill, but, um, it, it really does demonstrate like how accessible it's going to make expressing yourself in an interactive medium in a way that's never been done quite so um, exceptionally for lack of a better word just like I mean other things have attempted it and, and you know made strides but anyway uh, I, I'm just talking about this over and over again <laughs> I know people are talking about it but the point is the reason I tested um, Tetris Effect in VR in the first place was just because I'd been like watching that dream coverage and like so excited for it because like I, I don't know if you ever saw that like that one I have a playthrough of that like level I made there's this game Sound Shapes uh, that's like you make music and levels and they're like tied together much in the way that this is except it's like you know custom creations and I, I made something like really I think really beautiful in that and, uh, and fun and uh, it was like a a pretty popular level and got like featured in, in certain different ways and um I shouldn't have wasted that uh, anyway um and I've always been like wanting that again and like I, I in dreams in VR you can like um oh Tom like Firewatch and stuff yeah I mean like I think my mom understands that games can be like really beautiful and beautiful and pretty but I mean like the actual like Anyway, um, uh, but like, I, I want to be able to create something really, really good in there. I want to like make the music. I want to like in VR. I want to sculpt like all the figures. Uh, I I want to like, you know, and um, uh, and I was just like, man, that that's a process that I would I would love to stream. And so just kind of getting ahead of that, I, I was like. How, how how decent is <laughs> is the VR uh, streaming? Turns out, not super decent. There isn't really a good solution, at least on PS4. But I'll figure it out. So it, look forward to that whenever that game comes out. It still doesn't have a release date, but I'm pretty hopeful because that beta seemed pretty. pretty complete. I think it'll probably come out in fall. Um, I think my mom, uh, Rourke, um, I think my mom would find Gris really beautiful. Uh, no question. I don't think... I don't think my mom would fully understand how an experience like that could be powerful in the same way that, like, any great piece of art is powerful. In the way that, like, you can come out of an experience or, like, uh, viewing, like, a piece of art different than you were before. I don't think my mom understands that for games and not saying dreams could totally do that but like I don't know so something like Gris I would definitely show her and I, I think she would definitely go very pretty um I don't know it's kind of it's kind of a harder sell like oh shit <laughs> make it play Doki Doki Literature Club I think um, 
I think under I, I, I do I like Doki Doki Literature Club, but I think it does a lot of things that Undertale does. Uh, not as good. Uh, and not like it does it bad. I just think Undertale is is, is really um, really something special, and uh, I would probably show her that first. I don't think she would appreciate that either. <laughs> Oh, we stand Casey's mom. Yes, she's... I stand her too. When you were young, dead folk, you would lock yourself in the room during New Year's because you hated the noise. Oh, my God. It has higher shock value, but... I mean, I could... Also, I could just make her play. <laughs> uh, amnesia. <laughs> Oh, you just played Undertale for the first time? Uh, see, Wishes, you had the, um, Asriel cosplay, right? I am I correct? Oh, shit. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, Undertale's... That's one of... That is one of the best game experiences of... Oh, great. Excellent. <laughs> you have a type. <laughs> yeah. I, um... I've been wanting to replay Undertale. And I was like, should I do that on stream? And I already had my very personal experience with Undertale. I, I don't think anybody should stream Undertale for the first time. Uh, I really think people should experience that like I don't know you know they should be able to invest in it kind of in their own quiet way but um but yeah like as as a second playthrough because I uh, I played it on PC and I actually when the uh, PS4 version came out I got the collector's edition which has like a um a locket like a golden locket not real gold but it uh plays um the Undertale theme and like the motif uh, <laughs> it it plays it uh, like after you crank it, and it's really beautiful. And I have that version, and I just never played it, just because I was like waiting for the right time, and, and the right time hadn't come yet. But maybe after we get a little bit further and fall of the kingdom, I wouldn't want to start like another series playthrough just yet. Yeah, it's really cool. Mine is kind of out of tune, which is a little bit of a bummer, but it's, it's, I'm still very grateful to have it, and it's still, like, oh, when you get a, yeah, 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 can you still, every Final Fantasy in chronological order, <laughs> uh, no, thank you. <laughs> I abstain from that one. spoken. <laughs> hey, who's the geef chief around here? <laughs> I got final say. My vote counts for two. <laughs> I really love this one. same game just over and over again. Don't get me wrong, I love me some Pokemon games, but at this point I'm like, please just can do something significantly different than begging you.
You've never played a single Pokemon game, Tom? Really? Not in grade school, even? Or Final Fantasy game? God, how did you have a conversation with Rob Karleski? Or Jory Griffiths? <laughs> Which, by the way, Jory um, works with Game Grumps and uh, did art for um, Dream Daddy. Our friend uh, Jory from high school. Incredible. So cool. He was an excellent artist. He really, he really had, had no surprise that he, he's doing cool stuff like that. Oh, did, have you seen uh, Jory, Tom? And uh, and uh, like a million years at any time. <laughs> I have not. Which is fine. I mean, like that is expected. It, it's not like I'm not upset about it. It's 100. percent we are like all approaching or in our 30s, so. Not since you moved out to LA. That was a while ago, too. We'll stop talking about our friend Jory. <laughs> but, um,. Regardless, let's get Jory into Neoscum so he can tell Game Grumps about us. Also, I think he would like that show, but... What do I know? I haven't seen him in a long time, so... Shit, man. Oh, sweet lord. You tell all your friends to uh, listen to Yescom? Thank you, Tom. Oh, it's almost 1 a.m. where you are? It's almost 10 where I am, which is still pretty goddamn late. This, this is I'm going on like... All right, guys. <laughs> we're <laughs> we're going to beat this area, okay? And we're going to stop as much as I could just keep going. I got to stop. For now. By the way, Casey. Oh, well, shit. Hold on. God damn it. Yeah, Rook, go ahead. Um, H. Leviathan, that's, uh, I definitely don't remember the name of it. It's a, uh, like a, a royalty, uh, free, like, um, song meant to sound like, uh, Hans Zimmer. to look at the chat earlier. Oh, wait, I may have beaten the area. Well, there may be one more. Oh, shit. This one's hard. I'm also pretty warmed up, so I think I'll be all right. Or I spoke too soon. <laughs> uh. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Okay, here we go. It, it always... The problem with... Oh, see? I blo the problem with that thing is you come back out and there's not like a, a pause or anything. So you like... A, a, a piece will accidentally drop. That's 
truly like one of my only real complaints about the mechanics of this game. I think everything else is pretty fucking pristine in terms of gameplay, but. Well, ah, it was all because that one piece I couldn't drop my eye block. <laughs> you can watch me master this Tetris game and talk in the chat forever, man. Yeah, me too. Me too, but uh, I do think I gotta go. We've been going for uh, three hours and 40 minutes <laughs> between Fall of the Kingdom and this. Uh, well, we got two two streams in a row, basically. Two full streams. Guys, thank you for, for sticking around. Um, that's just solid 15 just hung out here. I think 14, 15. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, expect... I don't have a time yet. But expect another Touch Respect stream uh, sometime Monday afternoon. And then um, an Apex Legends stream. If you want to see uh, some fun gameplay there on uh, Tuesday, uh, like 7 p.m., we're going to be playing. We're, Chris is going to be in his room. He's going to be streaming in, so we'll hear his voice. We'll be able to uh, talk to Chris and um, uh, Jonah, uh, good boy, on uh, Neoscom will be uh, in that stream as well and then I uh, think I got Fall of the Kingdom Thursday and uh, Saturday and then uh, another Tetris Effect schedule for the Tuesday after and then another Fall of the Kingdom so we got a lot of stuff coming up um, whatever you can make and uh, whenever you want to join by all means please do thank you so much guys for sticking with me for so long tonight and uh, just getting so real in this chat it was just so lovely and and that's what that's that's so nice I don't be our, our Tetris Spec streams more like. Uh, we can have some fun too, though. All right. Well, good night. Love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see ya. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm still on air because I accidentally <laughs> didn't do the right thing. Okay. Now, good night. <laughs>